7. This morning, Westfield Bondi opens its doors for the first time since the tragic stabbing attack. The Western Sydney Bishop forgives his alleged attacker, speaking out for the first time. The AFP busts an international cybercrime operation, the Australians now facing charges. And the pressure on Melbourne police pulled from usual duties to cover protests. This is 7 News with Anne Sanders. Good morning. Westfield Bondi Junction has just reopened for the first time since a deadly stabbing spree, affecting air quality. Next in 7 News, we hear from the New South Wales Premier and Police Commissioner. The Aussies stranded at a major airport after deadly flooding. And a whistleblower reveals damning evidence against troubled airline Boeing. I'm worried about... Good morning. Former Richmond Premiership captain Trent Cochin has hinted at a Tigers rebuild. Rail, I think I probably would have given up a little bit sooner. Oh, crazy. Thanks, Felicia. <laughs> Thank you. To some breaking news now, the New South Wales Premier has just addressed the media after walking through Westfield in Bondi Junction. Here's some of what he had to say. An opportunity with Sunrise. Taking a look at the national weather forecast now, showers and storms can be seen across the Northern Territory's top end. And that's 7 News to now. We'll keep you up to date throughout the day. Our next major bulletin is at 4pm. I'm Ann Sanders. Thanks for your company. Have a lovely day. Stream 7 News anytime, live and on demand on 7 Plus. And with 7news.com.au, you'll know the news now. This is something 